During the growing season, we reported from weed-related field days to talk about the increasing challenge in controlling weeds in corn and soybeans. Our interview with Stephen Knezevic from the Nebraska Soybean Board sponsored field day during our August 8th episode details the rise in weed resistance in Nebraska and talks about ways to improve control. As harvest eventually wraps up in the state, farmers can turn their attention to controlling any winter annual weeds. Earlier this week, we spoke with UNL Extension Weed Management Specialist Amit Jala about the importance of a strong weed control program even in the off-season. Usually now it is the time for winter annual weeds, uh, for example, henbit, uh, field pennycress, uh, and uh, some other weeds, for example, merstel is something that uh, will be uh, emerging significantly at this time of the year. Some areas of the state, especially here in Lincoln, we've had a lot of rain late in the season. What can that do to uh, help pop up any weeds? Yeah, that will definitely help uh, emerging some of the weed species such as merstel compared to last couple of years because in 2012 it was really drought year so we didn't see much uh, winter annual weeds. Uh, in 2013 was kind of medium. We had some rainfall late in the season but uh, it is it was not comparable to 2014. In this year, we, at least for last two months, we really had very good rainfall and that will definitely help emerging most of the annual weed species uh, that will emerge this time of the year. Why is mare's tail so important for Nebraska farmers to control? There are two important aspects about mare's tail. Number one is mare's tail can emerge in the fall as well as it can also emerge in the spring. And sometimes uh, you may have seen some late emergence in summertime as well. So it is hard to define whether mare's tail is like fall emerging or spring emerging. So that's why it can easily escape all the herbicide applications. But uh, research conducted at UNL says that about uh, 75 to 80 percent of emergence of mare's tail is in the fall. So I would suggest uh, fall is the best time for control of mare's tail. However, there are some resistance issues with that, yes? Yes, yeah, and that is the second point. Uh, we already have glyphosate uh, resistant mare's tail in Nebraska and we have seen very widely distributed them at least in eastern Nebraska and also in south central part of the state. Plus, uh, majority of that mare's tail population is also resistant to ALS group of herbicides. So those two herbicide chemistries will not work for control of them and that's why we are reducing our control options and herbicide options for controlling mare's tail that is resistant to glyphosate and ALS group of herbicides. With mare's tail and the other weeds that you could be seeing out there, when is the time that you want to get these weeds controlled by? Uh, some research conducted at UNL suggested that um, most of the fall emerging weeds would have been emerged by the first week of November. So probably by the end of October or mid-November would be the right time to control them. And if you don't get them controlled by then, what happens? Some weed species will be really competitive. For example, mare's tail, it can overwinter in a roasted stage and uh, it can compete with your crop when you go for planting corn and soybean. You will see mare's tail in the field and uh, it will be, it can hamper your yield because of the early season competition. And as we close out here, what are the control options for uh, some of these weeds that farmers will have? Uh, most of the broadleaf weeds can be controlled by 2,4-D and or dicamba and some growers are also preferring nowadays to add some more herbicide mode of actions for example sarpan which is a ppo inhibiting herbicide uh, and uh, some growers are also using metribuzine like sancor uh, so those are the control options for now and uh, if the grower has some grass weed species such as uh, downy brom then they may need to include some foliar active uh, broad spectrum herbicide in their herbicide program. And if you're in a tilling operation, you're not no-till, you could till those as well? Yes, you can include tillage as well in your options uh, and it is good to incorporate uh, some more or diversify your um, management options to avoid any selection pressure of an individual herbicide or herbicide with the same mode of action. So including tillage uh, maybe in the fall or maybe early spring depending on what type of weed species you have in the field might be useful.
On the Market Journal website, we'll link to UNL's guide on identifying winter annual weeds. It contains pictures and characteristics for common winter annual weeds in Nebraska.